The ball is floating in the air as Hiori perfectly reads Rin's intentions and swoops in to make the block. If you frequently visit this channel, consider subscribing. With the game becoming more chaotic by the second, who will emerge as the front runner for the game's protagonist? Raichi urges them to get the second ball as Isagi reckoned that Hiori is amazing. I'm interested to see just how far MetaVision can evolve. Hiori actually managed to read all of it as he saw that Isagi was going to lose to Rin, and without any wasted movement he moved to block the shot course. It's because he understands Izagi's playstyle which makes him move so effectively, which is exactly how they managed to win against Ubers as they didn't even look at each other. This synergy could only be achieved if they had complete trust in one another as they clashed and crossed their visions of becoming the best player in the world. Ever since the match started, everyone has hit their top gear. Kaiser hit his top gear through his clean off-the-ball movements. Karasu has hit his top gear through his ability to read the game, which makes me think that he has some form of meta-vision as well, which hasn't been displayed yet. Kunigami is just Kunigami. We'll see what he can do as the match continues. Zantetsu has hit top gear through his improved sprinting ability. Nanas hit his top gear through his newfound ambidexterity. Asagi hit his top gear through his use of his ability to read people's protagonism combined with his metavision and Itoshi Rin hit top gear through his insane agility and dribbling, which makes all of their plays super high level as a result. Everyone is playing exactly as they envisioned they would, as this is the greatest match that Isagi has ever played in. Karasu taps the ball on his chest as he tells Hiori that he's gotten more aggressive since they last met, which was in the U-20 game. With the fire in Hiori's belly being lit through, Isagi Karasu has a lot of reasons to be excited to play against him as they're probably going to be the center of the midfield in the upcoming U-20 World Cup arc. Hiori said it the best in Chapter 239 as it was like a whole new world had opened before the egoist, which is why Isagi proposed him to become the best players in the world together, but Hiori told him that he wouldn't play that kind of tag team football with him anymore. His own brand of football has really caught up with Karasu as he wants to produce the best striker in the world. I wonder if Itoshi Sei envisioned the same thing when he wanted Shidu to play alongside him in the U-20 match. Hiori asked Karasu if he hated it, as Karasu responded that he didn't hate it in the slightest while holding Hiori off. He figured that it took him long enough to get to the conclusion he came to. Raichi warns the egoist to prepare for PXG their attack, as they're not going to be sure which system they will attack them with. Karasu has the ball right now, as Isagi wants to quickly figure out the best possible football that everyone can produce at this moment. It's kind of sad that we're not seeing the detailed pages of MetaVision like the previous matches, but that will come soon enough. Another important thing to note is that Hiori tapped into MetaVision as well. Karasu gave a backheel pass as Loki seemed to be pretty excited right now to say the least. Right now everyone is hyper-focused on the situation in front of the goal, which means that this would be the perfect moment for a trickster like Charles Chevalier to wreak havoc to his devilish content. I think the reason Loki calls Charles a trickster is because he has a lot of options up his sleeve as he can see the paths towards the goal, just like Isagi did in Chapter 199 when Noel Noah gave him a helping hand. Isagi realized that they were too focused on themselves, which means that they lost track of Charles. The wild beast is loose now as it looks like there's a pass incoming. We get a good look at his metavision too from a close proximity, although I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Charles passes the ball through Mensa and Kiora Jin as the ball was anticipated to go towards the prodigy Itoshi Rin. Another thing that I'd like to highlight is that Kiora probably won't make it like this. We really need to see this man in action quickly because his stocks are plummeting right now. The pass wasn't meant for Rin, though, as the ball goes over him. The ball took a very odd trajectory as it's a lob pass with the perfect amount of backspin. Oddly enough, he wasn't aiming for Itoshi Rin as it was an over 30-meter long pass as well. He wondered who was the actual target if it wasn't Rin, and the answer to that question was Shidu Ryusei as he dashed up the field with absolutely nobody marking him. Shidu was the only one who reacted to Charles' his pass, which might mean that they practiced it beforehand. Isagi couldn't believe his eyes as Shido wasn't looking at the ball either just like Isagi in Chapter 238. Charles is pleasantly surprised as most people couldn't even catch up to his pass, which is a frightening thing to think about. 
This makes me wonder if these guys have surpassed Isagi and Hiyori with this play already, since the pass was much more badass because of Charles, and Charles is probably a better player than Hiyori. The Shidu and Charles synergy might be going about as crazy as the Shidu and Sei synergy, not gonna lie. A pure striker desperately needs someone who can understand his vision and make plays according to that ideal. In chapter 130, we got to know what Shido's goals really were, as he realized that every human on the planet wants to leave proof of their own existence behind. The act of passing on their own genes has been programmed into all living beings because we would be extinct otherwise. They connect with others, wound others, and do things that make them persist in the memories of others. Those who create something, those who want to become something, and those who want to make children, they're doing something that leaves behind proof that they existed as it just happened to be football for Shidu. To Shidu, a goal means fertilization. A shot is the seed and the net is the egg. And the pleasure from that birth is what he calls an explosion as Itoshi Sei passed the ball to him. This is Shidu Ryusei's ego that Charles has to understand on a fundamental level right now because a pass like that wouldn't be possible otherwise, as Shido confirmed that Charles, his pass, came exactly how he wanted it. Isagi wondered how they've pulled that off, as they didn't even make eye contact. Isagi started to realize that this was the result of both of them being able to bring the best out of them simultaneously, just like Isagi and Hayori, as Shidu dashed towards the net. It's hard to conceptualize how much concentration is needed for that, as Hiori already saw Isagi scoring the winning goal, even though Baru thought that he had him. After that, he proceeded to dash past Aryu, Aiku, and Kaiser without even looking. Charles Chevalier might really be the next Gen 11, as it's not something you could replicate out of the blue. I wonder if the copycat Ryo would be able to crack the code to a play like this with Nagi and utilize it in their match against FC Barcha as they desperately need it. Nagi might have enough ego juice inside of him now to make that vision a reality as he got flamed all over social media through mean comments in chapter 247. But at the same time, there were also people who gave him hope which is reassuring. If Nagi and Ryo don't keep changing, they will never reach the world's number one spot and the same goes for Isagi, who has to adapt constantly to keep up with the prodigies that he's surrounded with. Charles Chevalier and Shidu Ryusei clashed and crossed their winning vision as Shidu headbutted the ball into the net which gave PXG the lead in this heated battle. These events made Isagi realize that the key he needs to win this match is who can get the best chemical reactions. They're going to have to consistently clash and cross the visions of themselves of being the best players in the world, as Shidu and Charles talk in emoji language. Watch this playlist next, or watch this video next that YouTube has recommended to you.